Hello, Leo. Hello, Sagittarius. Hello, my fire family. How are you? Elsie here to do a reading for you for the week ahead. Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you already, whether you're cross-watching or your sun, moon, or rising, Venus, or Jupiter, and you're in a placement of Leo or Sagittarius. Thanks for doing that. So we're just going to, again, throw some um, throw some oracles. We're going to look at the, um, at the sacred journey and uh, the animal oracles. I love the energies from both of these decks. So if you're interested in a private read, please do so by going into the description. Follow the link to Wizio. All my pricing is there. And let's get to it. I will read for... I'm going to read for Sagittarius first. So Leo, if you wouldn't mind scooting along, I'll be with you in just a moment. Thanks so much. All right. Just us, Sag. Just us, Saggies and the Cross Watchers. <laughs> All the people drooling over this saggy energy. <laughs> I am Sagittarius rising, right? People love our energy, they do. All right. Let's, uh, let's get a couple of these here. Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's take a look at you. Thank you if you are cross-watching. All right. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Okay, we have Begin Now. Take your first step. Oh, somebody else had that. Who was it, Charlie? Oh, that was uh, Aries. Yep, Aries had that. So if you're dealing with an Aries, tell me more. About Sagittarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Actually, Aries got it in the same position. Uh, journey by moonlight. Believe in magic. Oh, interesting. You're being asked to trust the universe. You're being asked to have some faith and trust the universe that things do happen in their time. Believe in magic, that things can happen at any time, that you are the magician and it's all in your hands. Yeah, journey by moonlight. I want to say that maybe... Um, you don't believe in magic. Maybe you're a person who doesn't believe in magic. <laughs> you know, fairies and, and um, you know, yeah, those kinds of things. Ethereal things. I want to say something's going to happen that's going to make you believe in magic. And that's sort of excites me just a little bit. Okay. Watching clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. Look, this is a time for you to take care of the self. Rejuvenating. Look at that. Rejuvenating rain. I love it. Clear the past. Heal the present. Oh boy. Look at you, Sag. You just, you cut the tie. You're clearing the past energy so you can heal the present. And you're doing it by taking care of you. Watching clouds. I feel like either you're taking yourself on a trip or maybe you're renting a cottage and staying there by yourself. Lie back, rest, and relax. Clear the past. Heal the present. I love it. All right. Let's take a look at this other deck. So you're supposed to begin now. Take your first step. This is a place you've never been before. And I feel like it's um, it's a path you've never taken or seems like it is. I think you're going to have to leave some people in order to get on the path. What I mean is you're going to have to leave a vibration where I think that maybe you don't jive with a friend anymore or you're not in that energy anymore. And whether, whether whatever that energy is, it's like you're on AM, they're on FM. And, you know, you might be able to hear some things, AM and FM, but maybe, you know, it's not as clear. It feels like, it feels like a lack of communication with somebody maybe. We have the wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. All right. Hmm. There may have been an ending here because this card is about a new beginning. Six and four is ten. And that breaks down to a one, which is the very beginning. Sometimes life stings. So I want to say that maybe you're taking your first steps since you were stung back there. I don't know what back there was. Put your label on it. Um, so yeah, six and four is ten. And so I think that you are trying to begin again, even though life stings. I think you're the person who just swats it away and keeps walking. Yeah. 
believe in magic. I think that's why it's hard for you to believe in magic, my friend. You've been stung so many times. You know, Sagittarius is the one that gives willingly to everyone, right? Always wanting to bring balance and healing. And and um, I feel like when it comes to you, Sag, that maybe, maybe you've never said it out loud, but maybe, you know what, you just don't get back as much as you give out. And sometimes that can sting, right? When people react as though they are maybe not as grateful for you. Whatever the life stings is, we've got let spirit be your guide. I love it. Three and two is five. Okay, so for those of you who are feeling in lack, if you're feeling in lack right now and like nothing's going right, all the shit's hitting the fan, all that stuff, I want to say that you're almost out of the dark. And right now you're in a place where it's stinging, but I think that you're at a place that is going to allow you some solace pretty soon it's going to allow you to slow down look at the moon you know what i mean be out in nature i feel like there there is something that's happening here that you're coming through that is really hard after being stung and we've got let spirit be your guide so if you're the one who's feeling in lack i want to say that maybe you don't believe in magic because maybe because magic is the dark you know maybe you feel like it's it's like sometimes people can't notice the moon or it, how it how it glows off the water right some people just don't like the dark <laughs> that's the truth and some people might only see it as dark but i think that you did but now i feel that you are allowing spirit to guide you out of the dark out of the lack here yeah you're about to step in your power here the hawk spirit right a hawk doesn't miss a damn thing nope Gosh, I've seen so much cool footage. I'm such a geek when it comes to like nature and animals and also science, uh, planetary stuff. And so I did see um, uh, somebody pop themselves out of the water um, with a fish on their head. And this hawk came down and grabbed that fish. And those big talons didn't, didn't make a dent. Yeah, they're that gentle, but that fearsome. And I think it's like you you just don't miss a thing, I'm going to say. It's really hard for you to ignore it. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. So I'm going to say, if that's the case for you, and that's the reason you don't believe in magic, allow spirit to be your guide. If you're someone who is new, uh, new to, you know, spiritualism and doing what's right for you instead of doing all the things that everybody told you to do while you were in church. Um, it's, it's a time for you to soar. It's a time for you to... Um, listen to spirit and know that that there is magic within the darkness that if you look really hard you know this this moon can seem intimidating and really close but it it casts a beautiful light on the water and i think that spirit just wants you to to see the beauty in the darkness Whew, gosh that's heavy shit Whew. yeah it's been stinging in the dark but it's about to get easier We've got um, the horse spirit. Freedom is yours. I love it. Look at you. You're out of the gate. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you've been stuck in this. I'm getting kind of choked up. I don't know if you can hear it, but I feel like you've been stuck in this, in this dark place where you were just being perpetually hurt over and over and over again. And the freedom is yours. You let spirit guide you, and now you've been led out of the gate. You can run freely here. Card number 33. 33 is you're going on the right path. You're going the right way. Three and three is six. And you're ready to share it with everybody. The horse is very intuitive, right? Like if you're someone who has sketchy energy, you cannot be around a horse, even more so than a dog or a cat. A horse is going to feel you on the approach. Yes, they're feeling out your energy as soon as you're close enough. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm going to say here that you're supposed to even though you're out of the gate here, <laughs> I think it's a new path for you. I think you're, you're being counseled just to move a little bit slower than usual, Sag. Right? Freedom is yours, but move slow to get it. Make sure it's what you want. Make sure it's what you want. Because I think that's what will keep you out of the dark, out of the darkness here. Wondering when the new beginning is going to begin. 
and getting stung in the meantime. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Sag, let's take a look. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Let's take a look for the week ahead. Some clarification for Sagittarius, please. Clarification for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And the Sag Rising, by the way. What are you? Where does it fall in your in your chart? Tell me about Sag. Okay. Taking your first step to happiness. Yeah. Sometimes life stings and then the five of wands shows up. I feel like it's you that's beating yourself up. I think that's where the sting comes in. It's like, I shouldn't have let them. I shouldn't have done this. Why did I do that? Why did I allow it? Like, it's not about that. Sag, it's not about that. But I think that's where you're stuck here. Because every thought you have, like, I think you're beating yourself up about maybe maybe you ended up in a situation where you were in competition and you didn't know it. Maybe you were seeing someone who was seeing other people. But the Five of Wands is also about, um, about not really wanting to... Hmm. Not really wanting to make a decision, but wanting to be victorious in the energy of winning. Five of Wands. It's indecision as well. Yeah, it's indecision to move through. Yeah, it's the indecision here because the journey of by moonlight is a dark one, right? You don't know if you're ready for that again. Yeah. It says believe in magic, though. The universe wants you to believe in magic. That even though at the darkest times, sometimes there's something, you know, we don't hear the sun rise. We don't hear the moon rise. We just look and all of a sudden it's there. And I feel like this is what this journey by moonlight is. It's like it happens even though you don't realize it's happening. And then all of a sudden you believe in magic. In a young girl's heart. That's a song, right? I don't even, I don't think I even know any of the other lyrics. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? Um, so we have the sun, which is Leo. And we have the queen of wands. Just listening. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a brighter day. I'm going to say that you, um, in the week ahead, my friend, I feel like you start to really understand the process of light versus dark. The light and the dark cannot occupy the same space at the same time. But the lesson about being in the dark is that you can appreciate the light, <laughs> right? It's really quite profound. It's beautiful. The, the, the moon and the sun always work together because without the sun, the moon would never shine. It doesn't have its own, its own light. And although it's there, right? The moon is there, the sun shines on it, and it, it also gives us light. It reflects back onto us. So what I want to say is that there's a lot of growth going on while you're taking this journey by moonlight. This place that's not exactly sun shining. I think you're coming to the end of the tunnel and the light is not a train. I feel like the tunnel's the illusion, that you had yourself in this place of feeling badly because something didn't exactly work out the way you wanted to. And I think you got hurt. I really do think, you know, that it was it was a very bad sting. I feel like um, it's not something that was life changing, but it's some it's a lesson that you had to learn. That if you wait too long, indecision, yeah. If you wait too long, sometimes life stings. Yes. Totally, Charlie. So um, the uh, journey by moonlight, right, is uh, comes to be the sun. When you realize the sun actually is involved and you're not just there in the dark alone with the moon, that the sun's going to come up anyway. Don't worry about if, if the world comes to an end today because it's going to just restart tomorrow. <laughs> we sleep, right? We have wondered, do you ever wonder where you teleport to while you're sleeping? <laughs> 
Yeah, we're just going to the next level of our life. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, we've got the Four of Cups, but the uh, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Wows, wowzers. Look, I feel like what's going on here is that there is somebody that you offered a cup to. And I think you've been standing by with the Aces ever since. Yeah, feeling sad or in regret, like something terrible, I think something terrible happened in the past between you and you became disconnected. I want to say that the Page of Cups is here and somebody wants to come forward and say sorry. There is some sort of either a surprise. Oh, oh, well, I didn't see that. Yes, I did. Yeah. So I feel like you're standing there with the aces, the five of cups and the tower. Somebody's feeling badly about being locked out of your life and here they come. I think the, the page of cups is telling me that somebody shows up wanting to talk. But I think that they're kind of just going to have a sharp tongue and do it in the wrong way. They might just show up at your door or they might just, you know, phone you or FaceTime you or something. But I feel like... Um, Somebody is coming in to speak with you. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Let's clarify just a little bit. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sagittarius. So you're taking your first steps towards happiness and I feel like you need to, it's like you need to get through this last leg of um, healing from whatever stung you. I feel as though the next thing that you need to learn is how to find the silver lining, which isn't hard for you, Sag, because you've always got the silver lining, right? Especially as it pertains to other people. You've always got their back. Don't worry about that. It's going to be okay, right? And um, the, the sun here tells me that it is um, a, a revelation for you, um, that magic really does exist because then what of the sun what of the sun and the moon together, right? It almost seems magical in suspension at the right place in an atmosphere that requires light and heat. It's just very, very cool and not coincidental. <laughs> and uh, we have the, the Queen of Wands. Uh, let spirit be your guide. I feel like um, you're going to be taking action on something in the future. Spirit has guided you, uh, has has guided you to something. We'll find out what that is. We've got the uh, Six of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Hanged Man. Something has come to an end. The darkness ends, my love. Look at that. Oh, feminine or masculine, my love. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, this darkness comes to an end and it reveals through the clouds, through the breaking of the clouds. I feel like you realize that, you know, that things that come, things that end the day before can become sunshine the next day. Sometimes it just takes the closure of the cycle in order to be able to heal because a lot of us keep that cycle open. We get in the doorway. We forget that we're not the traffic cop. We get in the doorway and they try and hold people in. It holds the cycle open and it's painful. It's very painful. It's painful to end, but at least it ends once and then you can carry on with the healing. And so I think that's what you're realizing here, that there is healing and growth and all kinds of stuff, even after an ending. And, you know, to believe in magic is to have faith, I think. And, um, I think that you're just supposed to trust that life is in this beautiful dance of moon and sun. And as long as you're ready to shine, I think the moon's always going to be there to reflect it back on you. It's kind of beautiful. Got the Queen of Wands again and the Nine of Swords. Could be dealing in two queens for sure. Two that have um, feminine uh, leaning energies. Just listening. Yeah. It feels like, um, I want to say that you've learned the lesson here because the hanged man is here. I feel like you've looked at it from every possible point of view. Um, whatever it was that you couldn't get any victory in, I feel that the, ex the radical acceptance of the present moment is what you went with. That's what it feels like here. I can have happiness even though I'm looking at it from my own perspective. My perspective counts. So maybe you had somebody who kind of told you that your perspective was wrong or the way you saw it was wrong and don't let anybody do that to you. I mean, maybe 
make that decision if you want to for yourself. The hangman is here. It's giving you all the perspective that you need. But I think that you do get a perspective on why you... Um, why sometimes life has to sting, why there has to be competition, why there is indecision, why cycles close. It feels like this is all of the stuff you're learning in the moon, uh, by the journey by moonlight here. The magic is that even though all of this stuff happens and it's harsh and it's awful and we live through it, the sun will come out tomorrow, bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there will be sun, right? Yeah. Let spirit be your guide. It's very interesting because we've got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And it almost feels as though, I want to say it feels like your spirit guide is matched to you perfectly. Let spirit be your guide. I feel like you're the Queen of Wands and you're being led by someone who in this life was a Queen of Wands. Someone who is who had tenacity, a go-getter, somebody who who, despite their past, which was really arduous and hard and terrible, this person sits on the throne even in spite of that, actually in spite of that, right? Yeah, whatever came to kill this per person just made them stronger. I want to say that um, if it's you that connects with this, and not, and not everybody connects with guides, you don't have to, but um, I feel like if this is you, that your guide is perfectly matched to you because we've got the two queens of wands here. Your guide is a queen of wands who maybe was a Leo in this life. It's not for all of you, of course. All right, so you could be dealing with Leo. We've got Pisces energy here. We've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. Um, I feel like there is going to be happiness after this time of hardship. Tell me what the challenge is for the week ahead, please. For Sagittarius, what's the challenge for the week ahead? Oh, <laughs> it is the Knight of Wands. And so it's it's not being impulsive um, it's it's letting the chapter end or the cycle end, the Ten of Swords, and it's knowing that you can be happy even though there was an ending. And it's not like it's the last person you're going to meet who's going to stoke the fire in your heart. It's not the last person that you're going to meet that is going to make you feel desired because you're the Queen of Wands. You're desired. When you're in the room, you're the one that's desired. <laughs> Yeah, you're the Queen of Wands. You know what I think is coming to an end here is this whole thing of, um, and don't get offended, but friends with benefits for some of you. Um, and those of you, if this is not you, you're the one that might be offended, and I don't mean you. So um, if, if this is what this was, or maybe it was playing house, but we're not living together, or, you know, all the things that happen in a relationship, but we're not naming it. I think you brought that to an end. I think there is somebody here who is really not giving you a whole lot of stability. And I think that you were allowing it because I think that you had all the information with the hanged man here. I think you were allowing it. I think you decided to close a chapter in favor of being able to spend some time in the sun because you'd been through this journey by moonlight for a long enough time. Yeah. I feel like your guide was with you. I think your spirit guide is uh, is uh, somebody who has been watching you like a hawk. And I think you're emulating this person's energy without you even knowing it because I think they're with you all the time. This could be somebody that you know from the other side. I don't know who the guides are. I don't even know who my guide is. I named my guide. Because <laughs> he said he didn't have a name. <laughs> Only human, like people on earth have a name. That's what he said. All right, I'll talk, stop talking to you about my craziness and I'm going to go into the extended. <laughs> We're going to talk about this hanged man. We're going to talk about what stung you. We're going to talk about the journey by moonlight and how did you get out into the sun. I want to know, like, uh, there's more information that I think we can talk about in terms of this guide, but I feel like you are being led to something where you're going to be putting down these, um, these, um, uh, sleepless nights. I think there's something coming in the future that's going to allow you to drop these sleepless nights. I want to see what you ended here because I think you ended somebody who wasn't giving you any stability. I think you ended something with them. But you beat yourself up about it a lot because it hurt. 
you waited too long because it hurt. Okay, we're going to talk about this too. We've got, look at that, we've got some communication coming from the King of Pentacles. If that's your person, maybe you want to come to the Extended, and uh, I will put a link down below. I will go to the Extended, and if I don't see you there, that's okay, because I'll be back. I always come back. Love you guys. I'm out for now. Bye-bye. Hello, Leo. Thank you for clicking here. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for waiting for me here. So let's get at it. Let's look at these, um, let's look at these oracles. And um, thank you so much for clicking here, as I said. Thanks for being in the comments. Thank you for all the ways you love on this channel, if that's what you do. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will stay. We like to be in the comments here. like to see you there. It's the way you connect with me is how I get your energy. So whether that's a thumbs up or in the comments, I just want to know you're there. Let's take a look, Leo. This is for you for the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Leo, please. For the week ahead, tell me about Leo. We've got Keep Going Forward. We have the Mystic Healer. Keep Going Forward, Ascending the Mountain. Oof. Ascending. You're at the beginning here, Leo. Keep moving forward. It feels like you're moving forward on your own again. Ascending the Mountain. It feels like there is a mountain to climb here. We've got Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. I want to say that the ascension into the mountains, I feel it's going to be a long journey. But I feel like you're up for it. I feel like you're up for the healing. I want to say for some of you, you are the Mystic Healer, but you don't realize that you are. You don't realize how healing you are to people around you. Look, Leo is the sun. Everything grows when the sun is around right? Everything grows. The people around you, like you're not the drop in the ocean, you are the ocean. When people drop into you, everything ripples, right? Your beautiful, happy energy ripples. So keep moving forward. I feel like you are about to go on a very long journey. And I feel it's going to be a healing one. I think that you've committed to some sort of a healing journey. And I feel that you you probably do understand that there is something different about you than other people. Not just that you're really nice to look at, but <laughs> your energy is different. And I would have to agree. That's the way I've always felt Leo. I have a few of them in my life, including my son. So that's the way I've always kind of felt Leo is... Um, under the radar, a little bit psychic. And because of that, they know which positive buttons to push, how to make you smile, how to make you laugh, you know, just the way they look at you, how to make you comfortable. That's the, that's the Leo energy. But they're going to do it all with the happiest, the happiest energy. And of course, it always, always is depending on the moon and the rising, and that can confuse things a little. But it, 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 uh, the sun sign is, is, um, is never standing on its own. It's always got the influence of moon and rising. Um, we've got the wombat spirit, be at home. And we've got think on your feet. I want to say think on your feet is sort of giving me the energy that maybe you're coming out of hiding. Or that you are very aware, acutely aware of your surroundings and that you're a little bit afraid of them. It feels like you you need to think on your feet in order not to get hurt. This is very interesting energy as we're talking about Leo. Gotta go. Go, 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 go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Thinking on your feet. Always trying to outfox somebody because you're highly intelligent too. Yeah. Leo and Swords energy is wow. Yeah. 
We've got uh, healing energy flows through you. I, I think that you don't understand how you soak up energy. I want to say that you might be a mystic healer. Someone who has the healing energy, like I always say when people hug each other, what do we do? We exchange energy, right? So when someone comes to my home for a reading, they get a hug in, they get a hug out. I take their energy and I clean it. I give it back to them at the end of the reading. And um, the healing energy, I feel you don't understand that you that you are an empath, that things stick to you, that you are the bright light that everybody sees, but understand everybody's attracted to the bright light. And it can it can suck your energy. <laughs> yeah. Be careful of people showing up with uh <laughs> with straws <laughs> just to kind of get in on your energy. Bottom of the deck we have Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. I feel like sometimes you feel that too, that you're kind of confused. I don't know what to do next. What's this? Support is all around you. Oh, I love that. Fellow travelers. Look, I think that on this journey, this ascension into the mountains, which I think is going to be, I think it's a place that you want to be, but I think it's a place where you're going to learn a lot of lessons. It's going to be a hard hard path to through the mountains I want to say but you have to keep moving forward I feel like you're going to meet fellow travelers on the path and maybe some mystic healers and maybe someone who teaches you that you are a healer you might have water in the chart One and four is five. Be at home. You're tired of being at home. You're tired of hiding yourself. But I think you do it because energy sticks to you. I think you're tired of, of trying to think on your feet. It's like everybody wants something from you right now. And you're just trying to hide. I think that you're hermiting, really. Card 27 is a nine, right? And I feel like maybe you're hermiting because everybody wants a piece of you. And I mean, like, maybe you're somebody who is a single parent or that has more than one job or maybe both. Um, but I feel like everybody wants a piece of you. <laughs> I just heard, everybody wants you. <laughs> it's an old song. Okay, take a look at some... Tarot. All right, all right. Let's take a look at it, Leo. I think this is a willing path. I want to say that even though it's an ascending, you're ascending into the mountains, which is where all the obstacles are, by the way. The achievements and the obstacles. I feel like the achievements will be um, grand once you get over the obstacles, but I think that you're willingly going into the mountains is what I'm saying. Because I think you want the growth. I think you know you need the growth. And so you're being asked to keep moving forward. Wherever you're going to be is going to be where home is. It, it isn't it isn't four walls and a roof. It's wherever you are. It's wherever you decide home is. I want to say that right now you're probably hiding away in your home. I want to say because I feel like this healing energy that you have brings you a lot of attention. And I mean, I know you like attention, but I feel like it feels draining after. That's what it feels like here. Yeah, you're going into the mountains for healing. Just like Moses. <laughs> Yeah, you're going into the mountains for healing. That's what it looks like. You've decided you need to look at these obstacles. There's no point in walking away from them anymore. It's time to look at these obstacles and um, start conquering some of them. It's time to get to the achievements here. We have um, the Page of Cups. We've got the Ten of Swords and the Emperor. Mm, yeah, that's what I was feeling, that you're carrying it all. I think you have to think on your feet because I think your life is super busy. I feel like being the Emperor, that you're the father and the, and the one, the bringer of goods and you're managing the empire and, you know, it's the mortgage and, you know, everything is on you. Yeah. And I think you just have always had to learn to think on your feet. I think that you might have some Virgo as well in your energy. 
could just be feeling that Virgo season stuff. But I think that you do have um, maybe another fire sign. Um, so I'm talking sun, moon, and rising. So I feel like if you're a Leo sun, if that's why you've come here, that maybe your moon and your rising are like Aries and Virgo, or maybe you're, you know, double Leo Virgo, something like that. Okay, healing energy flows through you. I think you're healing from something that ended here. We've got on the bottom of the deck, we've got the... Um, at the, the Nine of Pentacles, which indicates that maybe you're in a single or individual energy. As of late, tell me what healing is needed while we ascend the mountain here. Keep looking forward. Keep trying to heal is uh, the energy that's coming here. Uh, keep moving forward on the healing. I feel as though um, this Six of Cups is telling me that you're trying to heal from stuff from your childhood. Um, I feel like you've been ignoring those things that have been festering back there. I feel like they are obstacles to your achievements. And I think you've realized that now, Leo, that the obstacle to your achievement is that you need to heal. You can't heal from this stuff that happened when you were a kid. It's time to finally heal from that. For others of you, this could be a soulmate energy. This could be a, you know, a, I don't know if it's platonic or love, but it feels like it's, it feels like you, you want to go forward. It feels like you really want to heal some sort of a soulmate connection here. You're ascending the mountain. Maybe you're, you've stopped ignoring that and maybe you're going back to do some healing for others of you. Tell me what else Leo needs to know, please. Yeah. I think you undersell yourself, Leo. I think that you are far more powerful than you know that you are. Got the moon, the lovers, and the two of pentacles. Just listening. say that your manifestations are bringing you a new beginning that you don't see. I feel like all you're able to see is an ending. You may have had an ending with someone who is a mystic healer. Maybe this person is a healer or has that kind of energy. It says healing energy flows through you. Now, maybe the energy, the healing energy flows through you. Mm, it could flow through somebody else's though, what I'm thinking though, because it's a general reading and flip flop it the way you need it. But it feels like it's uh, that maybe you did have an ending with somebody who is like a mystic healer. Somebody, maybe you didn't see this ending coming. It surprised you. You didn't think this person would, would let you go. This ending surprised you. The end of this cycle surprised you because I think that you were pretty sure that this person was maybe a soulmate. But I want to say, Leo, that you have so much on your plate that I, I don't know that you have time for a soulmate. I think that you're constantly f thinking on your feet and I think it has to do with pentacles, right? Virgo is earth energy. I think it has to do with your pentacle world. I think that you're really busy in trying to think on your feet. I think there's a lot of things that happen to you that maybe never happened to other people. Do you know what I mean? There's other things that happened to you in your childhood, and, and I don't think that you can heal it. I feel is that you're trying to, but I feel like you're still bleeding from it. Yeah, you may not see the blood, but I think you're still bleeding from it. I feel like you are the magician. This is a time for you in the week ahead to really listen to the universe, really manifest what you want. Please know that you have all of the aces in your hand. You're the person who is moving this ship ahead. You're the driver of the boat. Yeah. You can have anything that you want. For some of you, it says be at home. So for some of you, you might be manifesting a new house or a new place to live. It might shock you and you might not see it coming, but I think you might know that it's coming. So if you are the person who is applying for an apartment or a mortgage, I think that um, what you don't see is that it's going to take some time, but it's going to work itself out. I feel like you will get whatever it is that you manifest about your home life. 
I want to say that for others of you, I was talking about this, I feel like somebody may have ended something with you and I think that you didn't see it coming. You didn't see it coming because you were pretty sure that this person was your soulmate um, and you never thought that they would ever close this cycle with you. But I think they did because you didn't have time for them, I just want to say. If you didn't have time for them, I think it's just you've got too much going on. Tell me about why, uh, what we have coming up in the week ahead. What is the challenge, please, for Leo? The challenge for Leo is closing a cycle. So I want to say the challenge is closing the cycle. I don't think you want it to end. So I feel like somebody ended something with you, but you don't consider it over. The moon energy is here. <laughs> you just may pop up on them one day. I don't think you see this as completely closed. I think your intuition is telling you that this isn't completely over. And I don't think that you expected that this person would end the cycle with you because I do believe that you think that they are a soulmate and uh, that they feel the same about you. Tell me more about the soulmate, please. If this isn't a soulmate that you know of, maybe you have more than one pick. Maybe you are picking from two, but you the one maybe you were going to pick is the one that closed the, the cycle with you. The lovers is a choice, by the way, right? It's like somebody ended something with you and now you're thinking on your feet how to get it back. Could be, but you're too busy. I feel like you are. Tell me about the lovers. This is a new beginning. Hmm. I think that um, in the week ahead, you're thinking about someone who, <coughs> excuse me, who I feel you feel very connected to. The lovers is here. It's a deeper connection. It could be a soulmate connection, but it feels like somebody here ended it with you and you didn't see that coming. I want to say that, um, that you didn't expect it because you thought that this person was ready to take a leap of faith with you but I think for them it was moving too quickly and I don't I, I feel like you wanted to invest but you didn't get a chance to because this person closed the cycle the other person closes the cycle tell me about the mystic healer please for Leo Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter All right. The thing is, is that I think that this mystic healer person is someone who is in indecision about the Ten of Cups with you because I don't think that you give them much for communication. That may be why they ended up closing the cycle is because there really wasn't very good communication here. This person saw you, saw you, Leo, as a prospect for Ten Cups for all of the happiness, but it feels like you were dragging your heels. And the Five of Wands tells me that there was indecision. I can't make a decision. Is there competition? I'm not really sure. So I feel like whether this the healer person is you or them, I feel like one of you, um, and I think it was... I think it's you that's dragging your heels on talking about the Ten of Cups, and I don't know why. It feels like you drug your heels on it, and then this person ended up closing the cycle because I feel like they didn't think you had the feelings for them. I think that you you know that they're a soulmate and that you had planned on investing, but maybe you just didn't want it to go that quick. But maybe you didn't say it because there seems to be communication issues here. Yeah, not very good communication as it pertains to you two. So instead of telling the person, look, I do want to give you stability. I want to give you stability. I want to drop my burdens. I feel like you, I feel like there, that you wanted to say something, but you didn't. There is a tower here that's falling, and I think it's because you didn't say it. I feel like somebody here may have carried on or ended it, or there wasn't good communication. I want to say that this person that ended it with you gave you a lot of stability. I want to say to you that maybe the stability of it is the thing that you couldn't handle, that you couldn't carry. The Ten Wands maybe was the was the 
was the um, burden that maybe this person is very opposite of you. Maybe you're very quick and always thinking quick on your feet and this person was opposite. Maybe they were the one that gave stability and that they were dependable. And I feel, I feel like it became a burden that, you know, maybe they wanted to slow you down and they wanted you to think about it and they want, you know what I mean? And then I feel like you have some sort of a realization here. That really all you want, I think, is the is the friends with benefits. I, I don't know that you... You were hoping that maybe the, the, the friends with benefits thing <laughs> or the instability was going to become stable. You were hoping that it was going to work its way into um, some sort of a... some sort of a commitment here. Because you didn't want to have any sadness about the past. I feel like... There is a moment of realization coming here for you, Leo. That's what it looks like. There's a moment of realization that I didn't give this person any stability and what they wanted was a commitment. And I can't feel bad about that. Yeah, I can't feel bad about that. The ships that coming in or the five of cups in the, res in, in the reverse to me is, I, is like no more regret. I don't want to feel bad about that anymore. So I think somebody wanted to get you in a commitment and that you didn't want to be in a commitment. That's what I think. Just listening. So I think that's why you let this go. I think I think you know what the this person's capacity is. I think you know that they are your soulmate. I think you you do want to invest you do want to take a leap but i don't think you can right now because i think you're 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 busy you're on your feet constantly you might have a couple jobs it's just not the right time yeah might be the right person but just not the right time but i think you're confident that this is not over that you can pop up at any time that you want and this person's never going to see it yeah they're not going to see you coming no one's going to hear me coming no one's going to hear a sound they don't know that I found my inner ninja. You're doing it ninja style. I think that there's something that you can't offer someone that they want. And I feel as well that um, you know that this isn't over. But um, this person does feel like it's over. Yeah, they might be offering themselves somewhere else. I just don't think you guys have great communication. Somebody is single. Individual energy. Yeah, somebody's liberated themselves. So either it's you or them. I feel like great things are about to come here though. The Wheel of Fortune is here. I think you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do at this time. And if you're not ready for a relationship, you're not supposed to do that. It feels like you know that you can put this over here for now and you can go at whatever it is that you need to do to get your pentacle world settled. Because I feel like you're sort of living on the edge of everything barely coming together at the end of the month, but you're doing a lot of work. I feel like you're really busy. I feel like you have to maintain a friendship with this person. The Emperor has to maintain the friendship because I just can't give any more than that. That's what it feels like, Leo. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go for now. Thank you, Leo, for watching this. I do appreciate you. Thank you for being in the comments and all the ways that you love me, including the thumbs up. I do appreciate you. If you're interested in a private read, please look below in the description. You'll find everything you need there. I'm going to go. Love you guys. Bye-bye.